What's up? It's your boy, Big Bad RPG here. I just had my first Game Master experience ever. Running my first game was pretty nerve-wracking, but awesome. And I gotta say, went pretty well. I was actually spoiled by a couple of really good players. Rick over at 28mm RPG and Crispy over at Table Runner. The channels are on the screen and I'm gonna link them in the description below. And one of the first things I learned very quickly was to just shut up and let the players role play. You don't need to bombard them with descriptions and trivial details that don't add anything to the scene. Sometimes the players, they just wanna role play. They're in that moment that you created it for them and they're happy to stay there. So why ruin their experience just to get to the next part of the adventure if they're already having fun? Instead, you should add to the ambience of the scene that they're in, which is easily accomplished by describing things that are already happening. Perhaps they're walking down the main street of a town and bards can be heard in the background playing their instruments. When you do this, you allow your players to continue role-playing in that scene that they're enjoying by adding to it instead of taking something away or making them move on from it before they're ready to. Give me that camera. What are you doing watching this, nerd? You should be watching my shorts. And remember to subscribe. It doesn't matter how much you prep or read your books, you're never going to be ready for your first time. My session was incredibly short, maybe an hour, and I still forgot all kinds of stuff like mechanics and rules, uh, descriptions, any, anything you could think of. I forgot. I even forgot some of the basic combat rules, which is pretty sad coming from the guy who has a short about reading your fucking book. Sad, right? You're gonna have crazy anxiety until you run a few games. And really the only way to get over that is just to keep running games. Don't stop. The more you play and the more you run games, the easier it's gonna be to remember all the rules and mechanics so you can focus on creating entertaining scenes for your players to engage in. One thing that I heavily recommend is something that I do in my games and when I play in other games is to keep the rules and mechanics discussion for the end of the game because it can really destroy a scene. You can easily get bogged down in rules and mechanics and that's no fun for anybody. That's the second thing I would tell GMs. Make a decision on the fly and don't let your players convince you otherwise. Make the ruling and move on. And that's the best thing you can do. Keep your game flowing smoothly. So those are my two tips for new time game masters such as myself. Don't talk as much as you think you need to because your players will do a lot of it for you. Just create the scene and let them engage in it and add to the scene. Don't take away from it. And secondly, keep all rules, discussion, and mechanics for the end of the session. And I'll catch you next time on Big Bad RPG. Don't listen to the bullshit that guy was trying to say. Here's how to be a good GM. Don't suck. And if you got any comments for first-time GMs on how to run a dope game, leave them in the comments below. Remember to like.